What is a VPN and why does my browsing history matter? Well, a VPN is a virtual private network and your browsing history matters because your ISP, your social media platforms and other online giants are snooping it for massive gains. I'm Alex with Windows Report and today we're going to give you five real reasons why you need a VPN in 2020. Before we get started, we should know that a VPN won't protect you from everything on the internet, but it will definitely help you avoid some pitfalls. For example, let's say you're in a coffee shop or in an airport, or you're just piggybacking on some free Wi-Fi network in your local area. All that traffic is unencrypted, which means that whatever information you send and receive is completely public. It's like shouting your password to your mate across the street and then hoping that he and only he will hear it. It's not the safest way to get your information across. So what a VPN does is to take that entire traffic and reroute and encrypt it. So if anyone is snooping around on that free Wi-Fi, they will see your initial connection to the VPN, but nothing more after that. Another good reason for using a VPN in 2020 is region locked content. Here we're talking mostly about streaming. We all know that Netflix US has a lot more shows than Netflix Europe, despite the fact that they both cost the same. And Hulu is not even available unless you access it from Japan or the US. So how do you get around this corporate fencing? With a VPN, of course. Now, you have to keep in mind that the more people that use the same VPN provider, the higher the chance that Netflix will catch on to it and block it. So try not to go all out on that one year subscription. Shop around and see which VPN provider works best for you if streaming locked content is your main reason for getting a VPN. Did you ever notice that whenever you Google something, you start seeing ads related to that topic? That's because the search engine is tracking you. We all know user data is the new oil, so why give it away for free? If you use a VPN, the search engine won't be able to identify you as a unique user and profile you. This might seem unnecessary if you are looking for a new bike and you start seeing bike ads. But what happens when you start seeing political ads around public office elections? Okay, let's move on to something a bit less dystopian, like ISP logging and throttling. Turns out, search engines aren't the only ones harvesting your data. Nope. Your internet service provider, or ISP, is also lo logging and selling your browsing history to the highest bidder. In some countries, ISPs are even required by law to keep logs in order to make sure that you don't use the internet in an illegal manner. Not only that, but an ISP can even cap your download speed if it notices suspicious activity on your connection. Did I say less dystopian? I meant to say more dystopian. And our last reason for using a VPN is, you guessed it, torrents. Sure, torrent use has died down considerably since its heyday in the noughties, but it's still in use for Linux clients, mods, and other independent software. So if your ISP doesn't think you should be using torrents, guess what? You can just jump on a VPN and they can't do anything about it. But keep in mind that not all VPNs are created equal and some might be faster than others. So do a bit of research before you jump the gun. Also, make sure that your VPN provider doesn't keep logs. You don't want to jump from the frying pan and straight into the fire. So, regardless of what you might think about the internet, remember that it is constantly evolving and as it does so, we need to evolve with it. A VPN might seem like a luxury to some, but it is in fact more and more of a necessity. And until we have something like GDPR on a worldwide level and the means to enforce it 24 seven, you will need to take matters into your own hands and getting a VPN is the first thing you should do. I hope you found this video useful. If you wanna learn more about VPNs and tech in general, make sure you check out windowsreport.com for that error-free tech life. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more relevant tech videos. See you next time.